Slot at infinity, the perfect integrated, timeless, unobtrusive ribbon of light. In 1999, Sumtobe proved for the first time its innovation leadership when the first generation of slot light was developed. So there is no surprise that Sumtobe goes again new ways in 2015, which was not done by anybody else before. We are talking about a ribbon of light up to 20 meters without any shadows, without any overlaps. Especially this luminaire is an everybody's darling when you talk with an architect. Timeless and perfect integrated. In the following installation video, you will see step by step all the necessary installation steps to guarantee a perfect integration into plasterboard. Nevertheless, also in the range is the surface mounted suspended version. It comes in a very new design, fully powder coated and therefore in a very new finishing. The cutouts will be defined according to the information in the installation manual. Don't forget about additional 50mm cutout on each side, 100mm in total. The cutout is done accordingly to the defined dimensions. In daily business, the typical procedure is to staple the plaster in frames. To match exact lengths, the plaster in frame has to be cut to the requested dimension. The spacers have to be used to ensure a perfect installation. Three spacers are recommended for the 2.5 meters plaster in frame. Plastine frames can certainly be mounted separately. Nevertheless, the spacers are needed to ensure the perfect distance to each other. The installation brackets have to be mounted according to the channel length, which is indicated in the installation manual. The installation brackets are screwed on both sides and are needed for the fixation of the channel in an upcoming step. Finally, the plaster and frame has to be cleaned. The channel will be mounted at the elongated slot with a slotted disc. Afterwards, the channel will be leveled slightly behind the plaster and frame. The mechanical connector has to be unscrewed and moved to the new position. Afterwards, it has to be screwed again. The plug of the electrical connector has to be connected with the terminal block. It is recommended to mount a positioning sticker in the middle of a linear configuration 
on each side of the plasterine frame. This ensures a perfect thermal expansion of the optic equally in both directions. This sticker has to be mounted especially in corner luminaires to fix the position of the optic at the cutted 45 degree angle. The mechanical fixation is ensured by springs which have to be clicked in smoothly. To remove the baton, just simply use a screwdriver and lift the springs on the side of the baton. That is the easiest and quickest way to remove the baton from its position. The optic can be ordered in different lengths. It can be cut to lengths with a simple carpet knife. The optic is cut to a 45 degree angle with a mitra saw. This enables a continuous design without any interruptions. The installation of the optic can be also done with a paint roller within seconds. The suction cup is needed to remove the optic smoothly. It is very important to keep the minimum distance of 50 cm to the end of the light line. This minimum distance is very important, otherwise the ceiling will be ripped. <laughs> 